know what it was a play drawn up for you, right? Uh, you know, I saw. Yeah, the, um, before the play, Doc asked me if I could if I could take him one on one, and I said yes. And he drew the play. So that's a pretty good result if you tell the coach you can take him one on one. I had a pretty, pretty good idea of what type of player he was, and I know with a fake handoff it was gonna work. So I just try to go as hard as I could to the right now. Must have felt pretty good. That was a pretty, pretty big dunk. Oh, uh, yeah. I had, I had some pretty good dunks in my career. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. How, how does it feel to be out there in close games down the stretch with these guys? Oh, it feels good, man. Give, it, give me an idea of what it is to play in the NBA at the end of the game, especially with the tight game. So, I mean, precision is where we're supposed to learn stuff, so get to, we get to learn fast in this type of situation. Seems like Kevin probably goes the craziest when you make a big play. What's, what's your relationship like with him? I um, mean, you know, he's a vet and he's a very, 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 very good player. And uh, he teaches us teaches us a lot in practice and stuff. And he he always behind us and trying to encourage us to whatever we want to do. I think he's a pretty good leader. And he shows us What's the situation like for you kind of fighting for one of the last spots? I mean, how, what do you feel like you need to do? Just go hard. You know, that's the only thing I know how to do. I just know how to go hard and think after.